This movie is so Disney. It is so Disney saturated. I wish for a fairy tale life and it's all gone terribly wrong. The film is about, after all of the kind of the fairy tale uh, fades away, it, Giselle gets to realize that happily ever after isn't exactly a thing in real life. Well, I play Ruby in this film, and I am a minion to Malvin and Monroe, who is played by the deliciously evil Maya Rudolph. And when I heard the whole cast was coming back to do the sequel, and then I got the news that I could be a part of it, um, it's sort of a dream come true role for me. We said most powerful, not the prettiest. Thank you for everything, stepmother. Morgan's not a little girl anymore. Like we see, she's not six. She's like 16, 17 now. So um, she's a typical teenager. And you know, they're just kind of at this place in life where they keep missing each other a little bit. So we definitely get to see their like relationship be tested and kind of what an adventure that takes them on and how that stepmother, stepdaughter trope plays out. Well, I think this time around it was, um, I mean, I got to have a lot of fun on that first movie dancing around and jumping on buses and you know, pretending they're dragons, you know, it's very silly. Um, but he just, I love his sort of unabashed um, purity and belief in all of that and his optimism about everything. The moat and added a turret and a balcony from which you can sing. I was excited to go back to that and also have a little duet with Andina Menzel, which is pretty, pretty exciting. It's fun to sing with her and to hear her actually have something to sing this time around. She didn't sing in the first movie, which is like a crime. It's really rare when you have a film that, that just works and you have a, there's a magic to it and you feel like you have this formula that, you know, made everybody really happy. And now, I know it's been 15 years, but to come back and revisit these roles and present this movie and, and the original to a whole new generation, it's really special.